This is what the NFL calls opening night at the Super Bowl in Minneapolis, when media hounds get their first chance to chase down Patriots and Eagles players. Things weren't near as vicious earlier today when Keith Russell held media day for the Super Bowl-bound Vitae family of Haltom City. On Sunday, you may hear number 72 referred to as Big V. Around here, some will always remember his journey as the little boy from Haltom City to fifth round pick out of TCU to football's biggest stage. He's very lovable by teachers, coaches, you know, people from church. The essence of Eagle starting left tackle, Halapulavati Vitae, who carries the pride of his mom and dad, not to mention two younger brothers who played right beside him from Pee Wee through high school. It's, it's crazy feeling knowing that my brother's going to the Super Bowl, you know. Never, never expected anything like that. I couldn't be more happier than, you know, for, for all the hard work that he's been through. Because, you know, I, I, that, was, that was my dream, which I could be right there next to him. With the Vitae's headed to Minneapolis for the game, Big V's dad says he may stick to his normal routine of walking around the stadium because he's too nervous to sit still, but promises before kickoff to remind his son of a lifelong lesson. My advice to him? Play football. You don't play with your mouth. Talent, brain. A newlywed as of last July, with a chance to put another ring on his finger, Halapulavati's story should serve as inspiration to other families in DFW. Any parents who think that their kids are not good enough, no, please be positive with them because one day things will change. Keith Russell, CBS 11 Sports. One of two TCU offensive linemen on the Super Bowl teams, Marcus Cannon for New England, is injured, but Vitae is filled in great for Philadelphia this year. Yeah, yeah.